Initially, Kia Sorento attracted the buyer with a low price and decent equipment. Is it that interesting in a used form? Kia Sorento sold well both in the North American market and in its historical homeland, and in Russia it was not a failed model. For example, in 2006, 5,000 new cars found their customers. And from the next year, an assembly plant was opened in the city of Izhevsk and sales volumes went up. Sorrento bought not only because he fit the definition of a lot of car for little money. Many things influenced the choice, decent equipment, where there were cruise control, leather interior, passive and active safety, good sound insulation, and powerful engines. Haven't dignity faded with age? In general, we can say that no. But here it must be borne in mind that the model is still quite young, and runs under and over 200,000 kilometers are still rare. Yes, and with the collection of reliable statistics there are certain problems. Indeed, after the warranty expires, 100,000 kilometers, or three years, many owners switch to service in unofficial services, and often non-specialized ones. Nevertheless, we can say that the Kia Sorento as a whole is quite reliable and is not prone to catastrophically crumble. Let's start with an excursion into the technical part. Kia Sorento frame SUV with a ground clearance of 203 mm. It has an independent suspension in front, a beam bridge in the back. All-wheel drive transmission with a demultiplier was first offered in two types, with a hard-wired front axle, part-time 4WD, or all-wheel drive of the TOD system, torque on demand, torque on demand. The TOD system is an American development by Borg Warner, in which the front axle is connected electronically when the drive wheels slip. This is done by means of an electromagnetic clutch in the transfer case. After restyling in 2006, only TOD remained. Then the line of power units changed. A simple four-cylinder gasoline engine 2.4 liters, 141 horsepower, was discontinued. Turbo diesel 2.5 L, 140 horsepower, increased power to 170 horsepower with the 3.5 liter V6 petrol engine, 192 horsepower was replaced by a 3.3 liter 238 horsepower one. Subject to the regulations, engines in general do not cause problems. So, for example, gasoline engines have a belt in the timing drive. It must be updated strictly together with tension rollers every 50,000 kilometers. Such a small interval is explained by the fact that cases of broken belts, leading to bending of valves and other joys, are not uncommon. On V6, this operation costs 14 to 16,000 rubles. Depending on the condition of the hydraulic tensioner, the complex of works takes nine standard hours, 850 rubles per hour, because you have to disassemble the entire front part. Remove the radiators, drain the refrigerant from the air conditioning system. By the way, when mechanics who are unfamiliar with this unit change the timing belt on a 3.5 liter engine, the engine pulley is unscrewed from it, and then a real Tsushima turns out inside. The weakest 2.4 liter engine is descended from a licensed Mitsubishi unit. In it, when replacing the timing belt and rollers, one must not forget about the balancer shaft drive belt. Otherwise, someday, pieces of the balancer belt will fall under the main belt. And then everything will be sad. This operation costs about 12,000 rubles including the drive of the balance shafts, with spare parts. Diesel engines with the timing chain drive and with the common rail power system with a working volume of 2.5 liters differ in power. At first, a 140 horsepower turbo diesel was offered, then a 170 horsepower one with a variable geometry turbine. Diesels are reliable when powered by high quality diesel fuel and regular oil changes, which is supposed to be done in our conditions once every 7,500 kilometers. By the way, According to the regulations, special oil is poured into the mobile Delvac. For a normal turbine resource, one must not forget to let the engine run for a couple of minutes after loading. Well, when installing an alarm, it is better to choose the one where there is a turbo timer function. Two stories from the experience of servicemen. They recently repaired a turbo diesel for 180,000 rubles. It was a non-warranty copy, recently brought in second-hand from Korea. The owner changed the engine oil every 15,000 kilometers, did not cool the turbine. As a result, antifreeze went into his oil, and the engine rattled. As a result, only the cylinder block remained from the old engine. And to the amount of the repair, I also had to add a radiator of the cooling system, since it was not possible to completely rid it of the emulsion. Or another case, brought on a Sorrento tow truck, which has half the tank of water with diesel fuel. 
The performance of the engine was restored by cleaning the fuel equipment on a special stand true. It could all end in much sadder. It's too early to talk about the rust of body parts. Since the car is frame, on the one hand, it is strong. On the other hand, if the frame led as a result of an accident, then it is problematic to restore it to its original values. At least the officials don't mess with it. And craftsmen, contact, but without guarantees. A new frame costs $7,000 to $8,000. Five-speed manual transmissions were combined with diesels and a 2.4-liter gasoline engine. Only automatics came with the V6, first a four-speed, then a five-speed manual. Mechanical gearboxes with breakdowns did not light up, and machines are extremely rarely repaired. Instances with the 2.4-liter gasoline engine often come to replace the clutch, and with low mileage. Probably, an insufficiently powerful engine is often tried to spin up before starting. Moreover, a diesel engine of the same power does not bite with the clutch, which is explained by greater traction on the bottoms. With a part-time 4WD transfer case, with proper operation, that is, when using all-wheel drive only on slippery surfaces, there are no questions. But there are problems with the distribution of the TOD system. In it, the electromagnetic clutch for connecting the front axle fails, the clutches burn out. But again, this is not a common occurrence. Oil leaks from under the transmission and engine oil seals are not typical but there is a relationship between oil seal failure and operation at temperatures below minus 25 degrees Celsius. Crosses and CV joints of cardan shafts are not sold separately from the shafts, but they still do not fail due to natural wear. But with bent cardans, customers come regularly. Front-wheel drives with whole anthers are not asked to be replaced. Up to 100,000 kilometers, and this is the warranty period of the suspension, Usually only the bushings of the front and rear stabilizers have to be changed. Tie rods and tips will bearing step over 100,000 kilometers. The machines, which are called curb in the service, had burst fastenings of the front shock absorbers. In the electrical part, like any modern car stuffed with electronics, failures are possible. But the Sorento does not have typical sores, except that the brains of the climate control were wedged in the copies of the first years of production. That's what really got into the statistics, so it's retractable telescopic antenna. After a winter wash, it freezes, as a result of which its electric motor burns out. Like most Kia, Sorento, released at the beginning of the century, radiators of the cooling system flowed from anti-icing reagents. This is not typical for newer cars. Used copies from Korea, mostly beating, restored in the Far East. As a rule, they are diesel, since there are more of them and customs clearance with such an engine is cheaper. You can visually calculate the Korean from Korea by other emblems. Versions from America are brought only with V6. They can also be with the past, punched through Carfax. Well, those that were bought from us at one time new are not easy to acquire. If the car is good, well maintained, with a clean history, then it leaves very quickly. By the way, the difference between the Eishevsk and Korean assemblies is observed, the main reason for which is the human factor. For example, when installing the engine, it happens that our assemblers tear the steering rack cover, do not plug in the electrical wiring connectors, or simply lay it incorrectly. Eishevsk bumpers were sometimes poorly primed, and the paint began to peel off from them. And finally, I note that the heads of the dealer technical station who advised us, as well as the authorities of Aptoder, drive mainly Sorento. It is unlikely that they would keep a problematic car in their personal use even if there was an available service. Can it be argued that the Koreans have pulled up their products to a decent level? At first glance, yes. But this statement is true for fresh copies from good hands. For a more detailed analysis, there is still not enough data, such as post-warranty repairs and maintenance, exactly known mileage and operating features.